<laughs> well, a standard every year. We say the same on the men's side. He's just getting bigger and bigger. Well, Great Britain's Joe Fraser starts on rings. Fourth in the all-around at the European Championships earlier this year. Come on, Joe. Well, that's a good solid start. The reverse round into the Maltese position and again using every ounce of strength in that position. You can swing the rings very well, can Joe? Look, the double tuck, the double pike, back up rise into a straddle top planche, and that's good. He had a little wavering qualification, so that's better than what we've seen. Lift into the handstand, must lock those arms out. It's going well so far. The forward long swing, fixed well. Come on, Joel. Big dismount, backward long swing. Wraps in, two yes. somersaults, two twists. Solid performance. Joel Fraser, what a start for Joel Fraser. What a start for Great Britain, and super timing throughout that as well, Chris. Yes, he's one of the youngest uh, gymnasts in this competition, just 20 years of age, but he's got very good timing, good style. Not enormously strong yet, but because he works with such good technique, he can uh, really work with the apparatus. This is the thing, Craig, for those that don't know, once you get a swing on the rings, you have to do your, your move at exactly the right time in order to try and hold the rings, which he did brilliantly. And he got a 13.966. Yes, big smile. That's a tenth on qualification. Keep doing that all the way around, Joe. You'll be up 0.6. Great. Now, this lad could well make a mark here. And round they go. And whilst they do, we'll have a look at uh, Great Britain's James Hall start his competition on rings. And James there with his coach from Pegasus Gymnastic Club. Lovely straight line, good strength elements. Swings to the crucifix, lifts his chin to show he's well in control. Two double somersaults, lifts the feet up, have to be absolutely still in those strength movements. Good style, good extension. From handstand, back to handstand, lovely straight arms during the swing. And again, building now to the dismount, up he goes. Very good, just a little pace. That was a good opener for James. Well, he scored a 13.633. Puts him in 18th place. That's how things look after one then. Arthur Dalalian defending his title out in the lead ahead of Nikita Nagorni. Chao Roteng in third. Fiji Kai there from Chinese Taipei. Uh, Joe Frazier, you can see, is in 13th place. So I was just seeing there, James Hall in 18th. Well, these lads absolutely mean business, Beth. Um, it was a phenomenal first piece of apparatus. It's always a bit of a spectacle uh, to start on floor, but it's a story of nil landings here. Yeah, definitely. I think the, uh, the lads are really setting the tone for this competition. It is going to come down to every single tenth. And you can see here, their final tumbles, there's the triple twist and not a flicker on landing and I think, like I said, it is going to come down to every single tenth so they don't want to give away anything. Interesting that three of them finish their floor routines on the triple twist so we can see from China here doing the triple as well and again a nailed landing. Della Lion did an excellent floor routine um, lots and lots of different tumbles, forward tumbling, twisting tumbling and finished using the triple twist and yet again and landing where there was just no foot mover whatsoever and Nagorni had a really tough ask to stand there for nearly 10 minutes and then get up and do a triple tuck 
but it just shows how many times he has done this tumble in training to be able to basically go from cold and still be able to do the triple tuck with that precision. I was just saying there, there's a real feeling of celebration here that we're all kind of witnessing some incredible gymnastics here. There was a lovely exchange actually between Delanoyan and, and, um, and Nagorni as well as they came off the floor. Um, just a real mutual respect that everybody is kind of would just defy gravity really. Yeah, I think you notice that a lot more across the whole of the um, gymnastics program. And people have got that amount of respect for each other. I mean, it is such a technical, such a difficult sport that the skills that they're performing, when the gymnasts come down, they just want to applaud each other to say, well done for, for getting through that routine. So um, I think you'll see that the whole way through this championships. I mean, we've, we've talked obviously about Biles and, and what, what she can do and what have you. How do you feel um, her routine would um, match up to the <laughs> likes of Nagorni? Sure, it would be <laughs> a really you? interesting one. I mean, obviously the boys count ten elements and the girls count eight, but if we could come to some agreement on how many skills we count, it would be a really interesting um, competition to yeah. see who would win, actually. I mean, the amount of power and height that she gets is... It does equate to what the boys are doing. Mm -hmm. So you think came on then on that one? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> My money's on Biles. <laughs> is it? Oh, that's interesting, is it? Yeah, I think she could uh, out tumble the men, definitely. The only difference with the men is they do a lot more combination tumbles. So obviously, it's not something we've seen Simone uh, do previously. But um, up until the new code of points where she didn't have to have the forward tumble, we didn't know how she would cope with that and it didn't affect her at all. So I'm sure um, if there was a rule change, she would find a way to get around it. Well, that's not happening today, anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're moving on to the second piece of six, the top group. Uh, I've moved over to, uh, to Pommel Horse there, so you can just see somewhere. It'll be the last gymnast up, actually. Um, uh, just because you can adjust the handles and what have you, just to make sure that everything's absolutely right for you with your warm-up and what have you. But uh, Kaya Zuma will be the first one up. You've got a, a third of the World Championships on this piece of apparatus quite a few years ago. So he's pretty handy on this. He's in seventh at the moment. Two. Real focus required for this piece of apparatus. Good leg separation there on the single leg work and again twice into handstand. Gymnas can only go into handstand twice on the single leg work. And he's got a good double leg circle. We're looking for the extension of the hips, the daylight between the hands and the pommel horse travelling down the horse with turn to build the difficulty and back down again judges looking for the feet locked together breaks out into the flares forwards and backwards into the handstand no hesitation very solid routine and you can see he's pumped for this I'm going up sir I'm going up from 7th well, this is the thing. I mean, it, everyone's waiting for someone to fall. And when you just go through the relief, I mean, all of the difficulty and what have you, the relief must be huge. Oh, absolutely. And uh, I think, you know, like the Russian lads were so delighted to win the team title. I think that's what they wanted more than anything. Not to say that the individuals won't matter as well, but they're, they, they're celebrating. They're coming out and showing gymnastics at its best. Yul Muldar on rings, second USA gymnast in this final. And I think we'll stay on vault if we can because we can now bring you at your Fraser's vault. 5 2 difficulty. So powerful on this piece of apparatus. Yes. Just that slight adjustment on the two and a half twist, but Joe's doing well. 14.266 for Joe. Next was James Hall. And we saw him absolutely nail this in the team competition. And he does it again. It was no fluke. Fantastic, James. <laughs> cracker. 
and a 14.633 for James. So this is how things look then after two pieces of apparatus. Chow Ro Teng leads the field. Nagorni second. Sam Kulak in third. Delalian outside the medals in fourth. Sunway's moved up to sixth. Joe Fraser, twelfth. The tie and ninth look. And James Hall is amongst them. He's on his way up after that superb vault. This is the third rotation. Gymnast, your warm-up begins now. There's... The last lot, Andreas Tovar down in 24th. But a fantastic final so far, as we've been seeing, uh, Beth. The top six yet to falter. Yeah, it's been a fantastic competition to watch. And I think the main thing to note on this is all of that top group have actually upped their score from qualification by between half a mark and two marks for some of them. So. Um, you can see there, they're just going for every single tenth to try and take this title. Yeah. I mean, the Chinese, Chinese yeah. yeah, I mean, their style is unbelievable. Um, really hips are open, smooth swing around the pommel, just very, very stylish to watch. And he really did improve on his score um, from qualification as well. And he would have been disappointed not to make the pommel final having been world champion on this piece last year. Yeah, well, he's in the lead at the moment. Um, as far as Dalloyan is concerned, um, trying to defend his title, uh, he's in fourth as we speak. He is, yeah. We know that the pommel horse isn't necessarily his best piece of apparatus, so I think he'll be pleased to get it through and also to have picked up those extra few tenths to give him a little bit of a buffer as he heads later into the competition. And we talk, talked about um, Samuel McCulloch as well, I mean, um, he's definitely in the mix now, isn't he, in third as we speak? Yeah, he had a fantastic P-bars, I mean, um, I think you spoke about it in commentary, but the fact that he's actually further down the group, he didn't have a great qualification, but that routine was super 15 plus, every gymnast wants to be scoring one of them, yeah. but... I mean, he, he didn't have a great qualification, so he is down, but actually he can just quietly go about his competition. He's not having to follow any of those top guys, and um, I think that can really help him, actually. Well, he is one of the high flyers, and um, here he is in a similar vein um, on high bar, still warming up at the moment. Um, but, yeah, he's got some incredible tricks, and he, he, he's, he's almost in that zone of being a real crowd pleaser today. You can see he's really pumping and, you know, getting the crowd going for all of his... Uh, his routines. He loves the attention, doesn't he, Beth, this he one? He does, and we have known him previously to really struggle with finals. Um, he's always one of those names that we talk about, and unfortunately just picks up errors around the competition, so hopefully we'll have to keep fingers crossed to see how he can finish his competition. And Craig, I'd just like to uh, have a quick chat about rings. We've got the leader group going on to that, and for the all-around gymnasts, you can see some of the slighter gymnasts as well. Um, this is a piece where we may really see the the top three change here. Yeah, I really think so. I think you can look at the physique of the gymnast and the shoulders and the bulk of muscle, and that really does help them on this piece of apparatus. So I think Russia will, will come back pretty strong on this piece, where pommels sort of went to China because they're a lot slighter build and they can work the pommel horse a lot better. But, uh, you know, everybody seems fired up, which is what you want in the final. What is very interesting is there's not a single finalist on rings that's in the all-around. So all the people who've made the rings final are specialists. So it is a piece that quite a lot of the all-rounders struggle in for more. Yeah, we tend to see rings and vaulters go hand in hand over the years because of that dynamic strength. But uh, let's see how we get on. Well, here's the leader. Will he still be in the lead after this rotation? Time will tell. Chow, 23 years old, 